I'll log it. Yeah. Mm, it says I am. As long as they are in the group, yep. I got you. Uh, uh, that was the card class. <laughs> Quentin found yesterday's class, everyone. Uh, let me try that again. Right oh, geez. Pass it around. Pass it around. Oh, it's uh, disappeared. You got a picture of a hanging. Hello, Debbie. How are you? Hey, there you are. You're alive now. Mm. What's he got? Oh, can you ring him, please? Hello, Tanya. Hello, Chloe. Can you go out in front and ring him and explain to him what happened? Yes. Rightio. Hello, Leela. Hello, Tash. Hello, Liz. I've got a different jacket on tonight, but I'm I'm rugged up. This is me. Um, this is my Melbourne jacket. <laughs> it has cooled off again this afternoon. What's that? <sighs> Hello, Liz. Hello, Pam. Needed a fix for tonight. Awesome. I think we all did. Um. Only two more days of school holidays. Awesome. Hey, Debbie. Yeah. We're going to be driving home on the last day of school holidays on the Sunday from Brisbane to Gladstone. Hello, Tanya. All is good, Chloe. So this is what we did yesterday. To it meant, but this is what we did yesterday. We made a... Shake your cut. You show me do make some mistakes, but shake your card. And tonight we are going to the bins ended up underneath the desk. Oh Ant. Really? Hello Sandy. You thought it was a bit longer. <laughs> For the school holidays. No, no. Back to school on Monday. Hello, Beryl. Yeah, school starts Monday. Noah's at a youth sustainability summit thing on Monday. Rightio. So we have got Christmas 2022. I think the original intention with the um, shrink, with the, um, the, Film was to make this into a shaker, but it's too skinny. Um, sorry, got my head off. Let's have a look at what we've got cut out. What oh, I've got cut out. Oh, I've got to use this one. Is he right? Yeah, he's okay. Is he just going to ring him up tomorrow or something? Yeah. Well. He's got like an app on the floor. It shouldn't actually. Quentin? It shouldn't make a difference. It could just be his card. I'll sort it tomorrow. No. Oh, good. I don't have any comments. Milton's health insurance card hasn't worked. We have troubles with, because we have so many cards on our health insurance account, we do have a lot of issues with the cards. Because we have four or five active cards on our I haven't even put a message account. up on that. And I'll do that in just a second. So, yes, he was ringing Dad to go. Oh, it didn't work. And the problem is, when the kids get a new card, it usually bumps one of us off. Oh, it's, yeah. 
It's good health insurance has its issues. Yeah, it's just because we've got so many cards on the um, health insurance account. There's no point the kids being in oh, Brisbane without the card. Cheryl's got a broken arm. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, 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 I'm going to go back. I miss saying hello to people. Um, hello, Beryl and I. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Sandra. They're cute gingerbread houses, aren't they, Chloe? Um, hello, Lorraine. Trouble collect connecting my ear. Oh, that's no good. Hello from Lake Bogger. Well, I hope that's how you say it, Trish. Hello, Trish. Hello, Elise. Um, I had a force but and I've broken my arm. Oh. Oh, Cheryl. That's no good at all. Hope you're feeling better soon. I hope it heals really well. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Jason. Jason and I were chatting this RV. Uh, kid overload this week. Hello, Deborah. Yes, kid overload, I'm sure. Uh, um, hello, Robin. Hello, Lee. Yeah, I hope it, I hope it mends really well for you, Cheryl. That's not good at all. Righty -o. So, I'm just going to cut this little guy up. Nope. Well, Lorraine's all good again. She just had to do a reset. Oh, there we go. That's good, Lorraine. Because, you know, we've lost our subtitles. I've, I've still got mine. I don't. Oh, no. They're, they're back. They're back. They're back. Yeah, they are there. Let's see if I don't have volume. I've got some comments. Well. Are you still fussy cutting for clients? Um, I'm just going to do this one. Crackers. Crackers and the jackets. Right. I'll be a good scribe and put up a link for this week's kit. Uh, kits. We're on week 27, aren't we? Yeah. Does that make anyone feel like the year's disappearing? Oh, oh goodness, we're going to be making kits again. Yep. Oh, We've still got part of the in-store part of the um, retreat still to go. Less well, just over a week, and we've got a whole lot to do. Yeah, Bogger, ten minutes away from Pam. There you go. Um, so Friday morning, our weekly roundup. You got to watch it because there's something about the weekend. Oh, exciting news. So the store will be closing at 12 o'clock on Friday and we won't reopen until um, 9 o'clock Monday. So we are closed on Saturday this week. Um, but we still need people to order. So what usually happens is when we um, go away, and all we're doing is picking up Naomi. Hint, hint, LOL. Nice try, Chloe. Um, what's that? Chloe was after him. I'll be threatened with casterisation if I give you a hint. Huh. Um, usually when we go away, people stop shopping. So you don't need to keep shopping. Just, just so you know. Audio. Pam's counting the slips to pay for Epic. Oh, don't do that, Pam. I haven't even no, 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 no. I haven't even dug the cages out yet. Because they're after our um classes and Naomi and I haven't organised them. Now we usually get we get a five by seven Santa photo. We get a Santa photo. We the do. Red Shores do a Santa photo every year. And we're always in it. All in it rather. Yep. We do a Santa photo every year. I 
Oh no. Marie's Robbie's got the dreaded virus. Oh no. I think it's going a bit wild at the moment, Marie. It is going nuts. I have items in my cart again, sister. You'd be, I'd like to put some new wheels on that car of yours, can you? You might end up like mine. I think yours is a virtual car. My little red wagon. Oh, there you go. Naomi sent us back. Well, Naomi from Hope River sent us back. Super. Hope the move goes well. Just getting on to people. Cheers, Naomi. So that was from her roundup of Where's the Bloody Classes, guys. Yeah. She didn't put it like that. She put it very nice. Yeah. It is a bit of where's the classes and what are you doing, you red shores? They are all over it. No, we're not. Yep. What do we think? See? Oh, I didn't use the boot. Let's just check the boot. Yeah. Radio. So then... That was quick. Not. The school reckons she didn't receive my email. Sorry? The school's replied back to my email this morning saying she hadn't received our email with the invoice. Really? She could have contacted us. It's not the school. I'm just trying to round someone up for payment of a huge invoice. Here's what it is. Let's put glitter card behind there. Oops, just grabbed me a little house. Let's put the green glitter behind there. So we always do a, well actually last year was a bit different. I'll show you last year's Christmas photo. Show you. Oh, we got super long distance Santa photos. Yeah, no. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is in here. In here. Sitting on top of the basket. Oh. I got our photos from Underworld from Sea Life. Oh. I must have used it already. I think I've used it already. But I don't know if you can see, but see where long distance from Santa was odd. Beyond odd. <laughs> and these are our sea life ones. Um, Morton's hair's green. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Radio. So we usually do a five by seven. Oh, if you're doing the Mermaid Wishes retreat next weekend, um, 
there is more stuff. I'm going to cut a five inch by seven inch fake photo. There is more stuff in there to order. Now, the color cuts, the mermaid color cuts are the ones that you've already picked one of. So, just so you know, I forgot to put that in there. Oops, move this back. So, let's do. Let's do a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inch photo mat. Um, yes, so those mermaids are the same ones that you've already picked. Well, it's that blue stripe here. It's paper one. Okay. And then let's. Let's cut the barcode off. So let's cut this down to 12 inches. Don't just cut the barcode off because I give you a bit more leeway. Like quite a bit more. See? Here. I am. Hello, Karen. Karen's there. Oh, can't find the Facebook link. Oh, she switched over. So, a heap of you got your retreat kits today. Um, Australia Post has got till tomorrow morning with a couple of you. And if they don't pick up their act, There'll be some discussions had. So I like that. So let's cut the middle out of this piece of paper one, this five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Let's not use those lossy cuts. So tomorrow morning, Tomorrow morning at 9.30 is Naomi John's class. Her mixed media class is tomorrow morning at 9.30. And then my class, my Friday night class, is actually tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, remember? Um, yep. Scroll up the two yep, you can do that. I'll let you do that. Definitely. Helping people get into classes. Let's take this barcode we just cut off, paper one. do that so we cut it in half and cut each piece one is there there's a cat at the back door crying she All needs right. to come in See what the priorities of my life are huh? yeah she's crying because she's devo rather devastated because she's walking out yeah no she was hiding in the shed earlier and i couldn't get her out we'll go and shut the shed Oh, you might have to check in the morning that no neighbours catch it, but you need to shut the shed. Need to shut the shed. It's a nice safe for anything to get in there. Okay. So, I think we need to get some red up here. So let's paint our Christmas word red, like we did yesterday. But we're going to make it a bit darker red. I'm just going to use my watercolours. You could use, these are just Montmart ones. And yes, this is a kid's, this is from kids' watercolour classes. They're not kids' watercolours. They are as well, but that's why they've got holes dug in them because the kids just went to town and they've been used in lots of classes. You could use your set like this. These are Dale Rowney ones. The Montmart ones are better. Um, mine have been kidified. 
um, but that's okay, it doesn't make a difference, but yeah. Got some water in my jam jar, and this is so this is the red that I used a bit of brown. I used a red, brown, and a little bit of this burgundy dark pinky color. And then for my blue, I used this royal blue, the light blue, and a bit of my red. And then for my um, gingerbread house brown in here, I used this gingery brown touch of the dark brown and a bit of the red so we use the red across in the mold ooh, 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 ooh. need this rightio so let's get some water and activate our red we made in the middle and then what we're going to do is i'm going to get away this red so you wet it and you bring it out Scoop it out. I'm not using a watercolour brush. I'm being a bit naughty. Get a bit of this burning colour. It's being a bit of a browning. I want to make something like this sort of burgundy ready colour which is red, a bit of pink, and a touch of brown. Let's see how that goes. Okay. I'm going to paint just the Christmas word. And then leave 2022 white and then fill it with the green. Oh, that's a good colour. Look at that. So with red, a bit of this pinky burgundy colour, and then a bit of these two browns here from down here. And it doesn't need to be the same the whole way around. There's a hair on my, come there, my brush. A bit of fluff on it. You don't need to have it super wet. Um, well, let's go round through here with this one. You can get a nice crisp edge. You know, use the edge of your brush to get a nice crisp edge on your watercolour. Let's pick it up from here. This is just the first layer. You could use a red ink ink pad, like put some ink out on your messy mat. You could use red spray. You could use anything. I just felt like dragging these out because it feels like I'm painting. I'm not using too much it's drying fairly quickly let's leave a minute and then do some more Quentin's done battle this afternoon. Now, not all websites are created equal. You find that out when you're trying to hire a trailer. Oh, my gosh. Do we ever miss our truck when we've got to move a child? 
it is just an overcomplicated process. It is just trying far to too complicated Once trying to hire a truck. Your site is so easy, it's perfect, but they're expensive. They're very expensive. Their website's easy to use, but they're very expensive. The other mob, it's, it's a big company, and they've got a very flashy website. They're a, they're a much bigger brand. It's just I don't have the degree on trailer hiring websites to use it. Oh, yeah. So notice how this red's a little bit probably browner, but that's okay. We're going to layer it up. We're going to put a third layer on this. But, yeah, because we, yeah, I really miss the truck. Truly do miss sweet pea. <laughs> We've got to move a child. Milton had to, Milton and his mate hired a van early this year to move. We couldn't go down. Oh, we weren't allowed to go down, I don't think. I think they moved when we weren't meant to be going down there or something. Something happened. Um, so the boys hired a van and moved to move themselves because we had no truck. Um, oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, which ones are the better ones to have? I like Montmartre. These ones are Montmartre. These ones are quite good. Um, these are good. The Montmartre ones of these are good. Like, don't get me wrong. They're good. These ones are better. But, yeah, these are, um, these particular ones are Dale or Rowney. Yeah. Might have gone funny, but I think they've they have had a touch of the sun and they have been kidified and they are really, really old. The Montmartre ones are better. No. What's that? Ancient. Ancient. Oh gosh, we're there today. We're chatting away. And then young Matthew goes, Oh no, I don't worry, Liddy is old. <laughs> Liddy's a support worker. We had in the store today and Matthew goes, yeah, Lydia's old. <laughs> it's just like, oh, dearie me. It was so funny. And then he was, yeah, making comments about how we'll have to make a soup when she gets any older. <laughs> when she gets any older, we'll have to, she'll have to live on soup. <laughs> She's only 62 is our Lydia. Dearie me. It's crackers. Oops, I'm getting it a bit wet. It's getting a bit wet. I probably should have dried between layers. I would recommend drying between layers. <laughs> oh, gee, Willica Sandra. What's that? In Wagga Wagga, it's cheaper to drive to Canberra, pick up a vehicle and drive it back to Wagga Wagga. To hire Wagga. a car? Yeah. Bet you it is. And then drive in the opposite direction to Victoria or Tasmania. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh, well, Sandra, it's, there's plenty of trails in town to hire, don't get me wrong, but it's... They just don't make it easy. No. So I just put a plain red over at that time, just the plain red. These are quite nice. We do have a set that's got a couple more colours in it than this, but I'm thinking I'm going to wait until um, they're all worse than the purple. You can see the kids, um, Sarah and Hera, liked purple. <laughs> the girls loved purple. Okay. I think it might have been more Hera than Sarah. I might have been purple. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to dry it. I think it's a bit bright. Oh, uh, I might have made the Christmas 2022 live. Can you check? What did you type in? Christmas script. Well, don't type in Christmas script because it's not called Christmas script. What would it be called? 
Oh, whoops. Guess I've got to cut more of these tomorrow. Oh, we didn't have any left over. We saw, we got Christmas 2021 up twice. We have to work that. Tomorrow. No, we don't. Oh no, one's white, one's ivory. And they're both sold out. Oops. Quick mess to stop talking. <laughs> Cutting machines going. Oh, well, going all day today. Yeah. Thank you to the ladies that were in the store and helped me. Helping me peel. And package. And package, yes. And we don't have any Christmas 2020s left. Oh, okay. Okay. Looks like we're busy tomorrow. Yeah, no. Well, now that the um, big thing in the sun that warms, you know, the big sun in the sky that warms us all up. So oh, the thing that warms us up. Has reappeared because it disappeared for three days. Four and a half. Four and a half, nearly five days we had no sun. Do you know it's bad luck to take the last piece of paper out of the printer? I don't know. No, she doesn't. She just stole the last piece of paper out of Dad's printer. Let's take one to here. It's bad when she knows what my secret stash is. Okay, so to build this page, what we're going to do is we're going to build from the ends in, right? So we're going to build this bit down here, and then we're going to build our title bit up there, and then we're going to fit our photo in the middle. So I'm going to put all these bits like a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. Possibly. Where? Do you really honestly think I'm going to tell you where I've hidden my staple? I need a stapler. What do you need a stapler for? Staple my book. Have a you're not making a book, you're going to use your art journal. I'm going to make a book. And what, uh, how many books have you made? There's an art journal on the floor of your old bedroom, which I'm trying to clear out so your sister can move in. So this little house is on phone. Come here. Okay. Call me a sock. Come around here. I'm not giving you my stapler. You can just use, I'll just use it for you. Yay. I'm not even showing you where it came from. Aww. Really? Really? Bye. Bye. See you later. Which way does the book go? That way or that way? What do you mean? It what? opens this way. Okay. Great skies for a month. The I staples are on the left. No, I couldn't handle that. Ever. What's that? Grey skies for a month. Yeah. yeah no. It was cold, but before it rained, it was cold. It had been cold for weeks. Making books is so much fun. Yes. Especially when you're seven. It's so fun. I could do it for years. Bye. And then this Santa is on foam. And then this Christmas ornament, bauble, is black. There we go. Let's give that one last heat.
So then let's fill our 2022. Oh, I've got a bit of slush there. It'll be right. So I really should have dried between layers of watercolour so it didn't get so wet that it sort of bled a bit. So that would be my main recommendation is to make sure you dry between the colour, between the um, layers. Layers are good. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can I say something about doing classes and, and saying why well, you did the class. Am I allowed to say that? Absolutely. Okay. I don't want this to sound negative or mean. Um, I really don't. But if you do one of my classes and you share the project somewhere, I'd really appreciate it if you actually acknowledge that it was one of my classes. Especially if you've bought the kit, you've done my class almost exactly as it is. Please don't. Um, and I know not. I know you guys are. Most of you are really good about this, but please just don't say it was your own design with stuff from your stash when it's actually a class that you've made from a kit. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. It'd be nice. It'd be nice for the others in the group that are, you know, in the gang that are actually, you know, sharing stuff and being really good and acknowledging. And if you make something from one of my classes, yeah, mm, if you make something from one of my classes, and you feel you need to sell it, I'd like it if you actually contacted me first. Yeah. I don't mind if you use my products and make stuff and sell it, but, yeah, if you're going to use a class and then sell the item from the class, yeah. Just... And I've had this discussion with some of you some of you contact me when you do different stuff with what you get in what we do in classes and that's cool love it when you contact me it means we get to have a chat too but yeah just thought i'd say that because it was brought to my attention today that someone has done a class and then claimed it as their own and sort of yeah it's okay these things happen <laughs> What's that? Chloe was just figuring out how she was going to call across boats and pick up and fill up her car recently. What's that? Fill, fill up the car? Where's she going? Uh, I think she was going home. 
Oh, she was trying to work out how to swing past Gladstone, like yeah. 200 kilometres in the opposite direction to where she was going. Yeah. <sighs> Chloe. Gee whiz. Love you, girl. No, but, Marie, yeah. that's fine. You can, like, Marie's just saying she used your technique. That's, anyway. Oh, no, that's technique. okay. But, but, yeah. but then if someone asks you where you got it from, Marie, I know you would say, oh, yeah, I did that, you know, that was in a class and that was this and, you know. You didn't buy a kit and then go, oh, look at my thing I designed myself. You know. No, no, that's all good, Marie, because I knew you were making that and you're very honest. But I just thought I'd say something because it, yeah, sometimes we need to remind some people. Okay, so our next step, well, my belief for the next step is, we can't forget our ribbon, is let's match our photo and then we're going to make our title, zhuzh our title up and then we're going to add, I'm going to leave this little guy to know where he goes. Then we're going to add our middle bit where our photo goes. So, But let's make our photo block so that then we can um, sit it where it goes on the whole, um, in the whole scheme of things and just audition it as we build our title block. I hope that makes sense. Um, your mate Pat just emailed me back to me. Oh, okay. Did he not know? Uh, yeah, he's changed, he's removed what we talked about off his price list and he's fixed up his other pricings that weren't great. Yeah, that yeah, because he'd made a mistake and yeah. the stores will rip him off. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you about the other deal. Oh. Yeah, because he's got to just got to make sure he doesn't. Uh, I we have a new supplier, right? We have a new supplier coming online, and it's a brand new business, and he just didn't quite know a couple of things about GSD and taxes, and that you can't put something up and then expect everyone to be kind about it. So, yeah, we're just trying to help him out. So it's seven inches across by five inch fakey photo. So yeah, we're just helping him to make sure that he doesn't get fined by the tax office and ripped off by unscrupulous people. Just gonna, because if those two things, either of those two things happens, then he doesn't survive and then I can't get the product I want. So let's turn it around. This is going to be a super simple layout. This is all about the embellishments. And I think because they're fussy cut embellishments, it makes it reasonable, you know. Okay. I've put foam behind one of these before, and it's a ridiculous idea. So let's do our title flat and let's use our timber to gauge it I don't want any of the black showing in here but I'm just gonna just cover it so let's stick the numbers on first and then we'll put the glue behind the other because it's a bit finicky and when you go to put it down I usually end up with glue everywhere you've seen it You've all seen that, haven't you? Let's pat some of this glue off because I've been a bit heavy-handed lately. And then let's put that just there. He's not telling me any of your comments. Uh, I'm doing three things at once, which is never a good thing for me. I'm oh, Quentin can things. hardly do one thing at once. Here we go. Okay, so... Quentin can hardly do... 
it's bad enough. Everyone knows that I have that dodgy thing on my glasses because I leave them lying around everywhere and I can just... So, remembering to pick things up and put things down is bad enough. He's terrible, hey? Simple is good, yes, Marie. Simple is good. When you got beautiful plate, I love this piece of timber. And, yeah. Where are we at? If you have a big family, how many of these Santa photos are you going to get each year? I'm behind a few Santa photos, by the way. I do the foam sometimes and then wonder why, but I do like it. Yeah. There are three sizes of red flowers. Sam is wondering which one you used here. Well, I haven't used any yet. Are there three sizes of red flowers? Oh, there are two. It's the big one. It'll be the big one because I've already used two red flowers yesterday. Big red flowers. It'll be the big one. But I'm not using it yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. worries when we're not posting stuff. What do you mean we're not posting stuff? I would say online, dear. on Facebook, we are posting stuff. They, yes, they will all pay for the concessions. Where would we be without you? Oh, I've got to go back because Quentin's not reading any of the blasted and meshes, oh, messages. Oh, he's... Okay, so if you drive to another town, yeah, yeah. it's nice dark on the title, yeah. Um, trying to work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, Pam. You're good. Uh, makes sense to me. I'm not that creative with making pages as trying to do yours. Chloe, you are very creative. Yeah, no, Marie. Your blue sunburst was awesome. Um... Yeah, if you're going to sell something, you probably need to ask and make sure that it's kind of okay. Rightio. So I want to put her so that her hand is on the thing, like she's holding it up. Ooh. See? So. We've arrived in Sydney, dear. Oh. What's that? The stock that was meant to be here a couple of days ago. Yep, the one that was meant to be on the floor yesterday. Yep. Did you get a um, con note sent for the other stuff? Uh, I don't know. I've got no con note. Oh, I need to get a con note. Yeah, right, yeah. Mm, let's put that bit there. Well, that's busy at work. We don't have time. Time to do any admin. The only thing my poor laptop does is drives those coding machines. Tell me about it. No, just the initial. Oh, yeah. Let's wipe some of that glue off. Hello, make it. No, no, that's missing. You think that? So, her, so her spine is straight? Kind of. Um. Um, it's really not, uh, yes, yes, definitely, Deborah. Where would we be without you? Oh, thank you, Pam. Lost subtitles happens now during class. Oh, Lorraine, that's terrible. Oh, Deborah, I hope you get time to create soon. You're very creative. Deborah's a very prolific creator. We'll have to agree with me there. I love the gnomes. I better start performing. You've got me out of job. Okay. Yeah, we worked out what red flower it is. Look, I'm having to read my own messages. Oh, look, I'm on it now. I'm still on trouble things. Yeah. 
uh, when my um when my clone comes home next week you should see changes when my clone is home things will be easier um I was about to say, you stuck that She does a little Dutch, Dutch girl, yeah. doesn't she? She's quite cute. Little That'd be perfect for you guys, actually, Bronnie, wouldn't it? Oh, and Deb doesn't pop post. Yeah, well, we yeah. all know we're in trouble when Deb's not posting. Yes. Thought you were meaning us. I'm saying, yes. oh, geez. I do like Deb's funny posts. So I think we're going to put our picture there and we're going to leave these two. A little bit and then when we tuck this in here it can touch that radio and we're way over here so which ones are longer put the longer ones on this side <laughs> Ronnie's yeah. asking if I'm going to get the set. Oh, Ronnie. Just the depth that varies, love. Well, you know, someone's got to sit there and make All the family in Sydney are safe. Yes, I hope everyone is safe in Sydney. Quentin has spoke to a few of the Sydney, Sydney siders. So I'm lining this up on... So I've got my ruler on this line here. I'm hoping that the timber is straight, that the person that designed this page has got it right. Hope I got it right. My strips are all the same length as you said. They cut them yeah, half that's half. okay. Yeah, if they're all the same length, it would be much easier. Mine aren't because I'm dodgy. They should be the same length, but I'm dodgy. I just hacked mine, remember? Then I'm going to leave like... So you took a shortcut. I took a shortcut. An eighth an inch gap here. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. What happens when you shortcut the system? Just Quentin. Yes, dear. Just don't. Overworked, underpaid, Pam. Oh, it wouldn't sound overworked. I don't know, but he's been whinging about how hard how sore his legs are after his um. I was a bit, I'm a bit unfit. I um, after doing his shelf packing. What were you in last night? No, it was the night before. Night before, um. Um, soups. And soups. He was doing soups. Dropped a bag of lentils. Before. That went down like a bag of lentils. <laughs> it was actually the first thing I did. I wheeled the trolley around. Parked it up. And dropped a bag of lentils. Yes, I thought I'll straighten those lentils up on the shelf because I saw I had lentils there to pack. Moved the box that was on the shelf and had a whole lentil fountain planned on me. And one of them hit the ground. And it, they, as soon as they hit the ground, it just... Ting, 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 ting. Oh, no, it was just a... <laughs> it was like a fireworks of lentils on the floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got a gap here. I'm going to cover this. Right, we're going to cover that. I'm going to move my photo over this way a bit and just work out. I'm just going to make a mark here. How far I've got to go. That's covered. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I hate little sissy. Oh, Sandra, you, know, you and me both. I'm telling you, Sandra. I think free would ever affect me at a job, but. I would probably have much more knowledge of where things are and what things were if I wasn't gluten free. Because, <laughs> like, we have a really limited. He comes home the other night and he goes, Do you know how many different muesli bars there are available in the shelves at Coles? I'm just thinking, I don't care. Oh, damn. Yes, Miss. Are you hungry and you haven't been fed? Uh, I've been fussy cutting some papers lately, getting them ready to use. That's such a good idea. How's everyone going with their embelly books? Oh, oh, I'll show you. If you've missed what an embelly book is, we were doing this. This is, I got this from Julie Chapman, this idea. Not mine. He's on holidays. Yep, she'll be back for retreat. And it's just a spiral book. And 
See, I've used heaps of my, my out and about. But I tell you what, for retreat, oh, I've left a bit of tape there. For retreat, this was the best thing, being able to just open the book up and just grab the embellies. You just use a tiny bit of like three mil or six mil tape. Three mil's better to stick it down. And oh my gosh, I've got the stuff still to fussy cut. No, right. But just, I've got color cuts. Some of the ladies are really organized, like they've got all the backpacks together and all the tents together and then all the fires together. Yeah, mine's just like a mad woman's breakfast, but you know, is what it is. But such a good idea. Um, oh, Amelia left hers at work. I'll have to get her to, if you want to see Amelia's, it's in last Friday's weekly roundup. Oh, it's been added to now. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip off my bits of pattern paper. So you could snip it like this side, but if you turn it over, you've got a definite better line to follow. So everyone's got to pray that it doesn't rain on the weekend. Yeah. No rain on the weekend in Queensland because we're going to be cheapskates and hire a cage trailer because it's going to cost us less in fuel and less in hire. And we've got somewhere to park a cage trailer. And we've got yeah. somewhere to park a cage trailer. We can't park a big furniture removalist trailer. Okay. So I've been working out how I'm going to explain this. So... We're going to have the ribbon go a fair way over this edge here, like an inch, inch and a bit. And we're going to do the same at this end. So we're going to go over like an inch and a bit over this end. Radio. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get two bits of tape. We're going to line our ribbon up so that it's like the same distance as we did between our two pieces and then we're going to tape it here. I'm going to make sure this is lined up the same distance again. And I'm going to tape it back here where we did our mark. Are you eating again? Gee whiz, how many mandarins have you ate today? This is my second mandarin. Really? I could be at risk of catching scurvy. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. But, yes, so I'm sure you guys will hear lots of other interesting tales of Quentin at, um, Quentin at Coles. Um, might get muscly. Might get muscly. Our paddocks are all underwater again. Oh, who oh. said that? Oh, no. You did plenty of packing shells when you worked. Oh, subjects i have asked my sons to send some selfies yes i um need to give my kids a razzle up because i haven't been getting photos from any of them or my husband Someone's like yeah. don't not a fan fan Oh, so you got your embelly book with you to get more organised, Trish. That's a good idea. Oh, Amelia's book is fabulous, isn't it? She added a full sheet of um, that full sheet of Scrap of Me butterflies today. Just so I'm going to do the same below. Areas. What's that? So it's just been way too wet in some areas, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm just I'm very worried about many of you. Full of rain, all the wet. Um, I don't even know how much rain we've had here, but there's water everywhere. All your colour cuts and fussy cutting I've done. I love it. Oh, that's awesome, Tanya. You'll have to put a picture up in the in the group. Just planted for the fourth time last week. Oh, Cheryl. Done. Yeah, guarantee it's a mandarin, Tanya. Um, his mum gave us mandarins. You know what? Oh, you guys were meant to pick mandarins, Asavi. Yeah, we'll you know that. what? I bet you it's been cold enough now that the mandarins actually have had enough cold to taste sweet. They better be bloody sweet. I'm not asking for another cold snap ever. 
be careful what you wish for. So see how when I stuck this bit of tape on, I'm doing on a bit of an angle because my photo doesn't go much below this. Hopefully the paint's dry out quickly, Cheryl. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are just too much rain. Yeah. The ABC was interviewing some lady that had a turf farm down at Sydney. Mm. And um, oh, she was she was quite in good spirits. Um, she was at Windsor. And um, the house was what the bottom story of the house was underwater as well. Mm. And they were saying about Dad, you know, how you spell insect? I N S E C T. Thank you. And they were saying, you know, when they were interviewing, she was saying about how the turf farms on a floodplain, so they do expect to get do expect to get flooded, but it's not real great that it's going into the house because that means the husband's going to be real busy for the next couple of weeks cleaning the house up. Oh god! But she was all smiles when she was saying it. And I'm thinking like, oh husband. Let's cut this bit of ribbon out. E C T. Don't waste it. And you need to say excuse. Where's your beanie? My beanie is on the couch. Yeah, put your beanie on your head. Yes. Making sure when we put our photo on it's sort of straightish and that it covers I know, I know, so jealous. Radio. Let's put this little guy up here. Oh, we've got a lady on um, YouTube from Kentucky. Hello, hello, H. Green. <laughs> Mrs. Green. Oh, or Ms. Green. Green. I don't know. Um, hello. What time is it? So we just love to know about time and all those sorts of things. What time is it in Kentucky? No, don't like it. I wonder what time it is in Kentucky. Oh, there we go. She's probably wondering what we're talking about with all the different. We do have this is live streamed on the Facebook at the same time as YouTube. Yeah, yeah, we're live streaming on Facebook at the same time. So if you're not in our creative family group, there, I'll give you a link. there is a link. There's an album link. Put up a link. So yeah, copy that one. Something like that. And then we're going to tuck this one. So that's the link for the Facebook group I've just posted in the YouTube. There are four questions to get in. That's just so we can keep the scanners out. Cut that pedal off. So I'm going to have it flat here underneath the house roof, underneath the roof. Let's put that flat. Marlene, is your son still wear shorts in winter and Tassie? Yeah, but they're used to it. Yeah, they're just not chicken chicken whops like us. Yeah. Although we can I say that yesterday morning, so yesterday morning. So when I finished class yesterday, I went to work and it was bitterly cold. I can honestly say I've never been that cold in Melbourne. Tuesday was 11.9 max. We usually honestly go to Melbourne in August, but Monday was the coldest day on record for Gladstone. No, it was Tuesday. Was no, Monday. Was it Monday, was it? Monday was our coldest ever day on record. 11.9 was a maximum. Yeah. Crackers. She said, uh, the lady on YouTube said it's a lovely page. Thank you. Yes. 
All I know about Kentucky is they have the Kentucky Derby. You can tell I'm a horse trainer's granddaughter. That's about all we know about horse training. I know a little more than that, thank you. My aunt's a horse trainer as well. Um, and not from the, she's not from the same family as my grandfather. All right. So I'll read you out some comments here. I'm going to get up here. Um, Chloe's always chasing her son to put long, warm pants on. Uh, oh, kids are terrible, aren't they? Our younger two are the worst. Pam said she saw that on the news too about the turf farmer. Yeah. Uh, line dancing on Monday, says Marie. Didn't even warm up. Uh, <laughs> I got really cold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was crackersly cold. It's yeah, probably it's beautiful. It's summer over in the US right now. Probably beautiful over in Kentucky right now. Yeah, look, Karen knows. She said the Kentucky Derby is part of the Triple Race, Triple Crown, magnificent races. Race yep. Groups. Wow. And your Kentucky Derby, I'm pretty sure the fee to compete um, isn't is high. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a high. Yes, and bourbon. And we and, are yes. bluegrass. Yeah, bluegrass, bourbon. There you go. Um, it's hot over there hitting the high 90s. Sort yeah. seven degrees. Hang on. I'm He's just going to convert that into Celsius. I would probably use Google. Hitting the high 90s. Yeah, so 1.9 degrees Celsius was our high, hottest point on Monday and it was our coldest day on record. 11.9. 11.9, yes. 11.9, yeah. sorry. And we're not like Yeah. Yeah. It gets to about um, 40, 42 degrees here in summer. Let's have a look. Um, at 40 degrees, our kids aren't meant to be. Uh, when it goes over 40 degrees, our kids aren't meant to be at school. But, mm. oh, okay. So that's 32. That's getting a bit warm. Yeah. 32. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually uh, that's, a that's spring. It's <laughs> spring. That was us in May. We were wearing singlets in May. Yeah, it was, it was 30 it was degrees in 32 degrees in May. And then it just went bang, freezing. What do we think? Oh, there's a bit of tape there. Where do we think we're at? Deborah's in short sleeve shirts once the frost goes. Oh, Deborah. So what I'm going to do is get my dimensional magic and put some dimensional magic on my berries. You know, Sandra's the same. She doesn't really feel the cold. She was at 16 degrees today. I think mm -hmm. I'm just wearing a summer shirt. I'm like, no. No. So yesterday I had my cardigan, my red cardigan, my vest on. Then when I went outside, I put on Quentin's um, <laughs> bomber jacket. So Rory stayed up really late last night and uh, then she felt like in high school, so she, you know, used her husband to warm up a cold feet. Apparently he complained. He complained. Oh, I've been wearing Quentin's old work socks. Yeah. I did see Mil uh, Quentin getting around the other day in a pair of um, fluffy female um, bed socks because they were the first thing he grabbed. Probably in the dark. Uh, and in the middle of this, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of dimensional magic. I'm going to try and show you this on the screen. Horses are big business. Horses are huge business. Horse farms with, and she's lost it. So. Horses. Suicidal from a day that. Right. Quentin's been more involved in working horses than race horses. Yeah. I grew up around race horses and sport horses. Polo cross. 
Trish said Elia is beautiful. See, I said Elia. Elia. Oh my gosh. So I'm putting it on the candy cane bits on here. Oh crud. Crud of my jig. Whoops, today's eyes. Also, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I've been thinking that I had to say it. I just couldn't not say it. I'm so sorry. Yep, I don't even know if KFC comes from Kentucky. I'm not sure. The poor old Colonel, I blasted his face over everything. Yep, yep. I think they took our bucket away. <laughs> okay. There are horse bars with chandeliers. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I, oh my goodness. Oh, I got you turned off. Okay, I'm just cleaning up. I made a bit of a oxidazos here. Okay, so I'm at that point where I'm probably doing too much. Maybe not. Just going around the arches of the windows. I'm going to show you. Maybe he got blasted on bourbon too. <laughs> Maybe he did. Big old colonel. Yeah. Rightio. So you can see, I don't know if you can see the berries, see the shiny bit. That could have been one of his secret herbs and spices there, Lorraine. Right? Powdered tomato soup mix. Trust me. I got that off Oprah. It works. Oprah don't lie. Yeah, no. Nah. When I was a teenager on Oprah. Or wasn't it? Oh, I was a teenager. Sundays off from college. Oak stalls, they're gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. That is big business. We haven't even got oak in our house. What's that? Oak stalls? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. They treat their horses with great kindness. So you should treat your horses with great kindness. So have you got the heater on the lounge room? No. He will. He'll turn the heater on later to warm it up for Missy because Missy sleeps in the lounge room. <laughs> it is warm enough without the heater. I don't have an old Yeah, but I better it warm, warms the lounge room up for Missy now. Okay. I could put sequins on here. No, I don't need them. I don't think it needs sequins. There we go. So look at that. We've just got some fussy cuts. I'm not going to touch this because I've got wet dimensional magic on my little window trims. Maybe I'll put it on there. I'm going to put it on the top of the baubles too. Well, it's going to be down to 11 tonight. It's currently at 13. Oh my god, that's got to be broken next week. What? So it's going to be seven degrees. Oh dearie me! That's got to be broke. That's got to be broke. <sighs> Looks fat. Um, I think Mary's got a spelling mistake there. <laughs> no, because ours have got bells, Marie. Because we got lots of finches in our garden. And they like to ring their bells and be annoying. Eight tonight. Cold. I've got my jacket on. So there we go. That's what we've done. So where's our card? Oh, there it is there. Well, my phone's broke because it says it's raining at the moment here. It's not raining. So that's what we made this week. We made a card with a shape of window. And a page with Gnome for the Holidays. I love Gnome for the Holidays. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the glass and the lantern. You can keep minus two, Deb. I just said no thanks. Yeah, that's cold, Deb. Holy Scruffy God. sleeps with a pan with an electric blanket. Scruffy. <laughs> He probably doesn't have a bell that he's that rings. He's yeah. Just, ring, 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 ring. No, they, Maddie will come and get Missy and get Missy to annoy us at a certain point when Maddie thinks she should go outside. 
She doesn't need to go outside. She just wants to go and check it out. There we go. So that's what we've done. Awesomeness. Look at that. An hour and a quarter. I'm on fire. You're going to find that photo. No, I've scrapbooked it last year. This is 2022. This is for this year. Oh. It's got a whack of photo on it. We are ahead. We are in, in, we are in advance. <laughs> <laughs> yep yep so if you came along and i didn't see your message and didn't say hello hello very sorry um if you said something nice or made a comment and i missed it i'm very sorry and if you said it's nice a nice page thank you very much um i've got to learn to accept the praise um so what time is naomi on morning naomi is on at 9 30 in the morning here in the creative family group and on her youtube channel with her yeah, mixed media class um she's had an okay week she's had a bit of a mixed week she's glad to be finished work they gave her a whole heap of branded stuff with their brand on it like towels and shirts and bags and all sorts of stuff so then she's she's gonna see how they go in about a month and if they need her to do some external work for them on their marketing and graphic design, she will do that. So, but they've got to try and stand on their own two feet first. Um, so yeah, she's given, she's left them with lots of ideas and options and ways to move forward. So the business is better for having her there. Um, but yeah, she's mostly packed up. You'll hear about it all in class tomorrow morning at 9.30. And then tomorrow night at 7 p.m., I'm going to do, you know, the big Geo Heart. I haven't done a page with that, have I? Please tell me I haven't done a page yeah, with the done. really big Geo Heart. I um, think many years ago you did one when. No, I've used it in a a similar one, slightly smaller, in a year in review. Yes, that's right. Um, yes. So I'm going to use the big Geo Heart and Flower Power. And I'm going to make a deceptively simple page. So, sort of a clean page, but with lots on it. I don't know. Oh, Debbie's put the ring, oh, not the rest, kindy glitz on her bead. That's a good idea. Oh, that'd be awesome. Got no kindy glitz myself, personally. There's none in the store, and I've got none. So, little birthday boy loves his dinosaur card that I made. He has a big wow look on his face. Oh, that is so awesome, Deborah. I bet he was wowed by it. Definitely a wow factor. Yes, prayers for everyone in rainy areas and Cheryl. Yeah, our thoughts and prayers are with you guys as you have to clean up again. Um, but yeah. Um it's not fun. There you go. So I'm gonna do the big geo heart. We're gonna use flower power. Uh, I better get my button to gear and fussy cuts and stuff. There will be a kit. And that's tomorrow at 7 p.m. And then weekly roundup on Friday morning at sometime before 9. Hopefully before 9. It's meant to be before 9, but sometimes we're running so late. we It's at 9. Um, we've got something to tell you that's happening on the weekend. Something that we don't often do. So, yeah, because Naomi's going to kick us if we don't. Um, you'll find out all on Friday morning. So, yeah, take care, stay safe, love is all, and thank you, yes. Thank you, um, Marie, and thank you, Tanya, and thank you, everybody, if I missed your comments. So thank you all, take care, stay safe. You know, I hate goodbyes. I'm really not very good at saying goodbye or hanging up the phone. We play for tomorrow night's class. I'm leaving the house. Yay. Awesome, Debbie. Get a night out. So, yes, night, night, Karen. Night, night, everyone. Thank you all. Take care. Stay safe. See you all tomorrow. Bye.